this video, we are going to use two different scenarios to show you a few logging features which will be quite handy within your support department. So in the first situation, you haven't met the SLA and you don't really know what happened and want to get a more detailed view of the situation. So as you can see, I have a ticket open right here. And in this ticket, we haven't met the SLA. Um, as always, you can just see in the description and in the notes slash time entries what happened, but sometimes you want to get a more detailed view. If I want it, I will go to tools here at the top of the screen and click on ticket history right here. When you click on it, a new screen will open. This screen is separated in two different uh, things. The first is the service level agreement right here at the top. And the second thing is the ticket history at the bottom right here. So let's just first take a look at the service level agreement. As you can see, the SLA start was on this date and time. And based on the start, a due date and time was set target for the first response and for the resolve time date. Um, as you can see, we haven't met it. You also see an X right here because uh, we, we haven't met it. And if if it was something like an engineer forgot to uh, uh, make his time entry on time or forgot to just uh, uh, update the ticket, we can edit by clicking on this edit button and we can give in the new actual date and time. And we can just change it by selecting a date on the calendar and filling in the time right here and clicking on save and close. Right now we're not going to do that because this is a test, but just for your own uh, a uh, view, you can just edit it right here. And at the bottom, the ticket history, you can see what actually happened and changed um, within the ticket and at what dates and times. And as you can see here, you can view the actions. So here is the status changed. And in the details right here, you get to see what changed. So the status changed from new to in progress and the, the time in the new status was 75 days for this ticket. And on the uh, right hand side of the ticket right here, you get to see who did what or which resource did what. Okay, so that was the first situation. In the uh, second scenario, you can find a ticket and realize it has been deleted. For this scenario, we will use the deleted ticket log. This log shows exactly which tickets were deleted and under which circumstances. So to get to the deleted ticket log, you can go to the hamburger menu right here in the top corner and you can select admin. When you click on admin, you get to see this screen. In this screen, you can expand the service desk tickets view right here and click on it. And uh, at the right hand side here, you get to see the deleted ticket log. So I can click on it. And when I click on it, I get to see all the deleted tickets within our Autodesk system. So as you can see, we only um, had one ticket, ticket deleted. And it was this ticket number with this title and deleted by our uh, uh, administrator account. And on the right hand side, you get to see when exactly the ticket was deleted. Okay, um, so this is for the, the, uh, tickets who were completely deleted, but you will also have some situations where not the whole ticket was deleted, but just some part in the ticket was deleted. When we go back to the admin screen right here and uh, expand the service test tickets like we did before, we can also choose deleted ticket activity log right here. When we click on it, we can see which uh, activity types were deleted. So if a time entry note or attachment was deleted and what exactly happened. So when I select note, for example, I can click on search and I will see which notes were deleted. As you can see, we've only deleted one test note for this ticket number. I can click on it and it will open the ticket for me. Or if I go back to the preview screen, I can just see which, which title the note entry had, by whom it was created and by whom it was deleted and which uh, dates and times are matching with, the, with, with those actions. So I hope this, uh, this will give you a better understanding of the logging activities within Autotask.